In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Jelly, beloved in Christ, on Father, in Manolavia, and I like to share with you a touch of God's love, that's a short of action and prayer on the Almighty's readings of Thursday, 11th April 2024. The readings are taken from Acts 5, 27 to 33, Psalm 33, 2, 9, 7 to 20, and John 3, 31 to 36. The theme of the reflection is how to live above the earthly, how to live above the earthly. The first reading says, when the officials had brought the apostles in to face the Sanhedrin, the high priest demanded an explanation. We gave you a formal warning, he said, not to preach in this name, and what have you done? You have you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and seem determined to fix the guilt of this man's death on us. In reply, Peter and the apostles said, Obedience to God comes before obedience to men. It was the God of our ancestors who raised up Jesus, but it was you who had him executed by hanging on a tree. By his own right hand, God has now raised him up to be leader and savior, to give repentance and forgiveness of sins. Through him, to Israel, we are witnesses to all this, we and the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those to obey him. This so infuriated them that they wanted to put them to death. And the gospel says, John the Baptist said to his disciples, he who comes from above is above and uh, above all others. He who is born of the earth is earthly himself and speaks in an earthly way. He who comes from heaven bears witness to the things he has seen and heard, even if his testimony is not accepted. Though all who do not accept his testimony are testing the truthfulness of God since he whom God has, God has sent speaks God's own ways. God has given, God gives him the spirit without reserve. The Father loves the Son and has entrusted everything to him. Anyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, but anyone who refuses to believe in the Son will never see life. The anger of God rests on him. Beloved, in the Gospel, John the Baptist testifies that Jesus is above all because he comes from above, that is from heaven, and, is, and he bears witness to heavenly things. He speaks of what he has heard and seen and experienced. He speaks the words of God, whether people listen to him or not. So God has given him the spirit without a zeal. The Father loves him and has entrusted everything to him. This implies that uh, Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit are equal. And that is why Jesus is above all. On the other hand, one who is born of the earth is earthly and speaks in an earthly way. It implies that those who are earthly have not seen, heard, or experienced the heavenly, and so may not accept the testimony of Jesus. However, the earthly people can hear the words of the heavenly person and become heavenly by accepting the testimony of Jesus and testifying that God's ways are true. So it means that uh, Jesus is above all and all who accept his words will be above the earthly, will be above the earthly. By accepting uh, his words, they receive eternal life and live beyond the earthly. The person who does not live beyond the earthly is the one who does not accept uh, God's, does not accept that God's words are true. And the anger of God is on such people and they will never see eternal life. 
This is because the Edri cannot live above the Edri. Since they remain at the Edri level, they cannot be above the Edri. It is when they ex accept the heavenly word that they can go above the Edri. It is the heavenly which enables one to live above the Edri. And they have rejected the heavenly. So, they have denied themselves of the power that will enable them to receive eternal life, which is a heavenly reality. They cannot receive the heavenly reality as long as they remain earthly. In the verse reading, the apostles show that they are above the earthly. They were given a formal warning not to preach about their heavenly experience, yet they filled the whole of Jerusalem with their preaching. When the earthly people tried to stop them, they said, Obedience to God comes before obedience to humans. In other words, people who are obedient to God are above people who are People who are obedient to God are about people who are obedient to only humans. So, if we want to be above the earthly, let's put obedience to God first. If we do so, we will not kill anyone like the way the earthly people kill Jesus. Instead, we will give life like the way the Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit gave life to Jesus and that he rose from the dead. Bel dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to put obedience to God above obedience to humans. In the name of Jesus, you always live above the earthly. Amen. Can you share God's love by subscribing to this YouTube channel and sharing or discussing this message with others? The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. May Almighty God bless and protect you always the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.